Welcome to the Brass Hand Woodwind Shop. I have a trumpet with a stuck main tuning slide, and this is an unusual stuck tuning slide. The first thing you do with every stuck tuning slide is apply some penetrating oil, and then you heat up the slides and work in the penetrating oil. This is a Yamaha Model 2335 Student Model Trumpet. It has the brace on the tuning slide. There are other Yamaha Student Models like this one with no brace here. The one with no brace has the normal tuning slide and you treat that like any other trumpet. This model and the Yamaha Advantage and maybe even a few other models which have the brace right here, they have a different style of tuning slide and if you do not know what you're working with you can do some damage while pulling that tuning slide out. On almost all other models of trumpets there are three pieces for the tubing for the tuning slide. There is the upper tuning slide and then the crook and then the lower tuning slide. However, on this model, there's just one piece of tubing that they curve, and then what they do is they take this piece here and they slide it over the tuning slide tube so it is not soldered in. It is just friction fit onto here. Almost always when the slide gets stuck, the slide tubes are more stuck than these friction fits here. So when you try pulling out the tuning slide, these parts slide out, but the tuning slide remains stuck. You can do some damage because if you push this out too far, then the ferrules will cut into the tuning slide and they will dent up the crook and they will take off some lacquer. What I do on this model of trumpet is I take the brace and the two ferrules and I slide it this way just a little bit. What I do is I take my swedging pliers and I put it over the brace. If you do not have a swedging pliers, you can use a drumstick to do this too. Then I tap on the pliers and I watch for this ferrule to move. It is possible if the tuning slide is not very stuck that the tuning slide will start moving first and if it does then that's good. Then you just pull out the tuning slide and you're done with the repair. But usually the tuning slide is more stuck than the ferrules are. And one other thing to note, if the tuning slide is stuck all the way in, you can take these ferrules and push them out that way. If you do that though, you need to be more careful to not dent up the inside of the crook and also scrape up the lacquer that's on there. I'm going to tap on the pliers and watch for the ferrule to move. And usually you need to tap pretty hard for it to move. It did move just a little bit. You can see the space right there with no lacquer on it. I'm going to work on the other one. I'm going to pull the tuning slide out so that's not in the way. I'm going to do the same thing to this one. The bottom one is starting to come out too. So I'm going to go back and forth between these two until it is pulled out about half the width of the ferrule. Now that this is pulled back, what I'm going to do is take my jeweler's saw and it has a very fine blade and I'm going to cut the tubing right there and there. I'm cutting the tubing using the ferrule as my guide. I'm being careful not to cut into the ferrule, but just cut the tuning slide right along the ferrule. I'm going to do that on both the upper and the lower tuning sides. I'm almost done cutting through. I did put some tape on the bell to protect it. Now this one is done. I'm going to cut the other one also. I got the tuning slide crook off. It's important to clean up the brass dust that's inside the tubing so that it does not get into the instrument and then into the valve section later. I'm using a triangular knife to clean up the burrs on the tuning slide. Now it's time to remove the brace and the ferrules. This one came off of the side tube, but this one came loose, and that's okay. It just means that it was not very stuck. However, I do need to get this one off so that I can solder it back on. So that one came off. Now I just have to remove this tuning slide. There are several different ways of removing the side tube. You can take a brass plug that's made for this purpose and then solder it onto here and then put a pliers onto that and pull that out. Another way of getting it out is to take the correct size dent ball put it in the tube, and then use a pliers to pull it out. If you do that, though, it will damage the end of the tube, but it will be covered up with a ferrule when you're done, so you will not be able to see it. 
Usually you only try the dent ball and the pliers method if the tuning slide is very stuck and this is the only thing that will work. Usually the easiest way to do it is to take the correct size burnishing ring, put it in over the slide just a little bit, then take the slide expander and you put the slide expander in just a little bit. You only want it to go in a little bit so that it doesn't expand the slide too far down. And you put that in, tighten that up. Then you take the slide expander and you twist it carefully and you see if it's going to come loose. Sometimes it does and sometimes it does not. It may be too stuck. That did not work so I'm going to solder on the brass plug. Now I'm putting the vice grips on this so that I can twist this out. I am going to be careful while I'm doing this I am going to watch these braces to see if anything twists or does what it's not supposed to do. So now I'm going to Try to twist, okay, there it comes. Okay, that was not as stuck as it could be. I've seen them a lot more stuck than that. No, I'm going to go as far as I can until it hits the bell. I don't know if it's going to come up all the way or if I need to take off the vice grips or the brass plug, let's see, okay. We're hitting the bell, so I'm gonna push that back in. Take the vice grips off, and now I'm going to unsolder this. I unsoldered the brass plug and I gave it a little time to cool. Now I can just pull it out by hand. Now all I need to do is clean out the slides and then solder the parts back together. If you want to watch the video on cleaning tuning slides, look in the description below for a link to that video. Now it's time to put this back together, so I'm going to put that one in as far as it needs to go. And I did need to shrink this a little bit because when I worked on it, it did expand the tubing a little bit. So I had to shrink it back so that it would fit into here. So that's as far as it needs to go. Now I'm going to put this back in here. And the longer tube goes on the bottom. You don't want to solder that on backwards. So I'm going to slide this in. And I do not want it to go in all the way because then it will solder the slide tube to the trumpet. So I'm leaving a little space there. I need to make sure that there's the same amount of gap for each slide so that when you push it in, it goes in all the way on both of those. And then the crook. So I'm going to put that in like that. That looks good and, and now it's ready to solder. There are a couple more things I need to do before I solder this though. I need to make sure that these slides are parallel and that they are not skewed. So what I'm going to do is hold this up and look at it. I'm going to look at this slide right here and see how it lines up with the other slide. And that looks good. So it is not skewed. To make sure that the slides are parallel, I'm going to use my calipers. And I'll put that there and put it there and that looks good. Now I'm going to solder this back together and these are fairly easy solder joints to do. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description below to some more soldering videos and also to some more tuning slide videos about pulling tuning slides. Okay. So that solder joint, let's see, the one is done, now I'm doing the other one on the other side. Okay, just want to make sure I don't get too much heat or too much solder. I think I may have gotten a little too much solder though on there. I'll have to clean that up later. Now the other solder joints. Now I need to neutralize the flux, then wipe everything off. And because this is tubing that I'm soldering on, I need to make sure that the solder joints go all the way around. Because if there's a gap in the solder, then it's going to have an air leak in it, and that will not help the playability of the trumpet at all. So I'm looking carefully to see if I see any leaks. Okay, there are no leaks. However, I did put too much solder in that joint and there's a little uh, blob of solder right there. So I'm going to take care of that now. I'm going to heat and wipe the solder. I heat it up till it melts and then I wipe it off. 
like that. And I got the solder all cleaned up and the slide works well now, so this trumpet is finished. Thank you for watching. Look in the description below for links to related videos, and please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos.